I like what Quick Force is doing here. They've been able to get into the paint almost every time down the floor, and that's one of those turnovers that we talked about, which ignites Duke's transition offense. And one, R.J. Barrett, an ill-advised foul by Sharon Wright Jr. At least there's some similarities in the script, but the biggest difference being that there's no Williamson to rely on. He was 13 of 16 in that game, and Trey Jones off a good feed from Barrett, got it up quickly and ties the game. By Shondi Brown. We've tied for the 13th time tonight, Fonz. Barrett gets in the paint, scoops it up, and scores! Ooh, I mean, putting that thing on the floor to his right, little well, not if back he's here. Touch the floor. Oh, yeah, if he touched the floor, <laughs> that travel. should be travel. Then some second chance opportunities here. John D. Brown, good hands to knock Barrett off his rhythm, but now Barrett shakes and gets in the paint. Oh. RJ Barrett! Jay Barrett contained to his right side. Now you gamble there. And you create an opening for him to get to his left hand. Now it's lights out when he gets in there. He's nearly impossible to guard when he gets into the painted area. And with a footnote, it is that basket. Ball's got to get to the middle of the floor. It's actually a zone. Barrett gets in the paint. Switch to the right hand. Attack it in the middle and watch Barrett here get down in the lane. He rarely uses that offhand, but used it masterfully there. Let me correct myself, Fonz. If you look at Barrett scoring there, I assumed Wade called the timeout. It was Duke.